Welcome back everyone to Dracula Love Kills. How are we doing today? We are playing Dracula. And there's this lovely lady here and we have a pair of sharp fangs and we have to figure out what we want to do. Oh, look, shiny object. Uh, what else can we do here? Anything before we get to our lovely maiden? It should be, uh... Alright, well... Should we do it? Yes, we should. Oh my goodness, what in the heck is this? This reminds me of Viva Pinata. Am I breeding animals here? What am I doing? Oh wow, it goes dark. Oh, this is crazy. Huh. Interesting. Very, very cool. Do I make it? Oh, so close. Hello, lovely lady. Bravo, you win. Do you want to drink her blood and turn her into a vampire now? Your decision will cause consequences, and yes, I would like to because I'm a vampire. Isn't that what vampires do? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> now I'm fed. Alright, so she is now a vampire. And there will be consequences, but that's okay. I don't mind at all. Now, what else do we have going on in here? Uh, let's see. I guess we want to... What can we do? Probably need to... Hmm. I like that the, yeah, the blood gauge is there. Alright, and then we got our achievements. No way, I will approach this. Okay, back to the castle. Go inside. Don't think we can do anything in here. Uh, I've got some tools, but this location's completed. We need to get out of here. Let's go to the crypt, see what we have in here. What can we do? Oh, we could place that there, sure. Oh, look, hello. Snatch it. Get it. Come to me, skull mark. Put you in its place. We have one more to go. So we have the fresco here, but uh, we still need one more piece. Broken coffin. Hmm. How are we going to fix this broken coffin? And, we, and there is the fresco piece. So we need to get, get those jaws open. I think we're going to need a crowbar. Yay, crowbar! I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Totally gonna need a crowbar. <laughs> Can I lift that up? No. Saw's not gonna do that. Okay, so... What else can we do? We're gonna have to get out of here, I think. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, no, I don't think I can do anything in here. Oh, she's pretty. I like her red dress, I have to admit. Dad's also wearing red. It's a good color. Red is the color of blood. I'm expecting all sorts of deep, rich red colors in this game. And already, I am pleasantly happy with the current way things are going. Alright, so how do I deal with this watchdog? Igor also knows growl. Grrr! <laughs> this dirty beast prevents us from approaching. Oh, hello! Alright, what are we doing here? Turn the gears to form the proper sequence of numerals. Proper sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From top to bottom. Oh, spinny puzzle. Now, wait a minute. Does this mean 1... How do... Am I doing this right? 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, maybe? I'm not exactly sure what order, but... Ah! Let's talk. What do you guys want to talk about while I spin around this uh, crazy lock? Let's see. Uh, how many of you have seen any of the older Dracula movies? I'm talking like those black and white uh, ones. Uh, those are pretty cool. Or anything modern? What's your favorite Dracula movie? 
I'm trying to think what mine is. I think I like the Van Helsing one, the one that came out relatively recently. I think, uh, one that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, very good. What do we have? <sighs> Favorite thing ever. Hello, crowbar. Ah, nails. I'm so happy that I got a crowbar, and I know exactly what I have to do with it. Let's hurry. Hurry back. Oh, no. Or <laughs> wait, what? No. That's not what we do with it. No, no, we need to get that fresco piece. Get out of there. Yeah. I guess we'll go ahead and take care of this now. Ah, and we're going to have even more time to chit-chat. Because this is going to take me a while. I'm kind of wondering what we have here. I can see a horse's head and what looks like a dragon. Hmm. But yeah, favorite Dracula movies. Uh, There's probably... I mean, how many have there actually been? I think they probably have... You can go back even to when they had silent movies. There was probably a Dracula movie. I mean, the Dracula fiction was written in, what, the 1800s or something? Uh, what was that author's name? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I've actually read that book, too. Old book. Old style writing. Kind of like Charles Dickens style writing. Uh, Dracula is definitely some fiction I enjoy. Uh, how many of you have actually read the original book? Oh, you know, I just had that... Uh, what was that movie with Igor in it? It was kind of a comedy. Oh, it was probably in the 80s, I'm guessing. Wow, I'm really gapping now, but it had Igor and it had... Uh, was it actually Frankenstein mixed in with Dracula? It's funny because, uh, oh, Shelley. Wasn't it Shelley? Wasn't that the author? Because I'm trying to think now, actually. Maybe I was thinking of the Shelley Frankenstein book. But what I was going to say was it's interesting how the Dracula fiction gets mixed in with the uh, Frankenstein fiction from, uh, in a lot of cases. And I just thought of something else. My mind is all over the place. The Isn't there a movie coming out soon? I, Frankenstein? I think I saw that on the... Uh, advertisement on the YouTubes. That's right, I watch ads on YouTube. Of course I do. Support the content creators is the only way I know how to watch the ads, right? But yeah, I think there was a ad for I, Frankenstein. Which I will see, of course. And speaking of horror movies, there's a new movie coming out soon. Devil's Do. That will look super creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's always interesting. I always find that uh, horror movies tend to come out around Halloween. And then they also have a second kind of time frame where they come out kind of in that early January time frame. I think it's just because Hollywood doesn't have a lot of blockbusters coming out in January. So they end to, tend to put the horror ones coming out this time as well. And it's not like these horror movies are going to win Oscars, right? So I guess there's that as well. But yeah, if you think about it... It does seem like January is a time frame for horror movies. Alright, I've almost got this fresco done and I've been yakking your ears off and I'm sorry about that, but sometimes I just gotta talk to keep myself busy. Especially when I'm dealing with a big puzzle like this. And you know what? In a lot of cases I would fast forward through this, but ah, I figured we would have a conversation about movies. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I feel like I'm getting very close here, but I keep moving the same pieces back and forth, which is not good. Does that one go way up to the top? Let me see here. Where? What is this? Where does it go there? Wow, I'm super close here. This dragon tail. No, that doesn't look like that fits. Hmm, that looks like that. There's a horse leg. Certainly not solving this with the most efficient clicks, but that's okay. It's not really my intent here. Where does this hoof go? My goodness. Actually... Hmm... That looks... what's going to go over there? Ah, okay, that fits much better. <laughs> hey, Dragon Tail, where are you going? Or maybe it's Dragon that Tail. Oh, 
Okay, come on, last piece. Let's figure this out. We gotta move this. Ah, oh, there's where the dragon tail goes. Got you. Fresco, you took forever. But you know what? I win. And that's the important thing. Alright, so what do we got here? Another piece of the shield. Ooh, crowbar action. And look at that. We've got some soil. Ship. All tutorials. What? Oh, so Skip all tutorials. Woo, I just slurp back some blood. <laughs> ah, refreshing blood. <laughs> I'm Dracula. I'm pretending. I'm role playing, so relax. It's just a game, a silly little game. Now, I have to reconstruct the cover. I need some wood, because I don't think the coffins usually have wood covers, right? I don't see any wood here. Where the heck is the coffin lid? Whoa. Uh, no. I got nails, but I don't... Alright, where's that wood? Wait, no, oh, I thought I saw something there. Well, nails by yourself, Gibbs, are not going to do anything. I need some wood. Where the heck's the wood? Igor, help me, help me. Really? Long boards? I, they're not even the right boards. They're long boards. Where can I cut these things? In a workshop or something. Ah, come on. No, I can't put these down. Like, any of these coffins would be a perfectly fine flat surface to put the long boards on and use a saw. But that's okay. We're gonna need a workshop, clearly. No, can't go back in there. So how the heck do I get rid of this dog? Oh. Okay, random big spot. <laughs> For a bone? Excellent. <laughs> oh, cool. Fifth part of the shield. Oh, rotate puzzle. Perfect. We'll get back to you in a hurry. Oh, there we go. Workbench. Let's go. We got a coffin to make. Got myself a mosaic piece. Oh, are we going to do this now? Might as well. We've had a chatty video. Why not continue the chat? This will be our third puzzle. I think it's our third puzzle, and I've been just chatting up a storm here. These types of rotated puzzles aren't necessarily difficult, especially because we're only talking about a 4x4. Four uh, however, they do take a bit of time, so you just gotta be patient and roll with it, right? Because, you know what? It's just, it just takes a little bit of time to figure things out. I don't think I'm doing a great job here. <laughs> I think I'm making the, this worse than it needs to be. This is a weird rotatey puzzle thing, but... Well, actually, you know what? Okay, so that... That's there. We gotta get the blues over here. Okay, there you go. That's a good start. Get blues. Uh, this has got to be green. Darn center one is kind of a pain, but it's necessary, so... Okay, blue. I'm so close. Yeah, I've got my red down and my yellow down, and now I just need my blue and my green. Whew. Challenging indeed. Okay, this is not helping at all. I gotta move this up here. Crud. Ugh. Come on, Gibbs, do it. Don't be afraid. This is not helping. We need to do this. There we go. So how do I get the blue one over there? I gotta flip the blue one there. Yeah, that's good. Keep moving the blue ones around. Sometimes you gotta break it to fix it. That's just the way it rolls. Okay, so now blue's done. And green's a complete mess. Alright, so now I've got red and green done. Yay! Oh, uh, where's my crowbar? I wanna break the yellow and blue square and force fit them. 
Okay, so let's come on. We can focus here. We got this. Got to turn that around there. We ought to move that yellow one to be there. So let's think this through here. Okay, I think I got this. Just move the red over. Boom! We did it! We win! Oh, look at that. We even got completed five puzzles in a row without a skip. Yeah! No blood, though. Need more blood. Location completed. Cool. Now I've got all the tools that I have necessary to make a coffin. So we can hit the road. Longboards, nails, and a hammer. Oh, wow. Look at the carpentry skills we have. My coffin has been repaired. I can travel again. Where to, master? Let's go to the clubs. Van Helsing caused much damage to the crypt door. Though he did not destroy it, he took some pieces with him to London. A human vanity of exposing the trophies collected from his victims. He grabbed the part of the door. A skull. Without it, we cannot enter the crypt of the knights. We must get it back. London! Igor fetches umbrella! <laughs> whoa, 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 are you implying it rains there? Whoa. That's a stereotype. Now you have the means to travel. Oh, neato. You know. So this is how they do the mini-map. This is cool. <laughs> I got the blood dripping. We are in the office of my worst enemy. The symbol of the Order must be somewhere. Perhaps in the cabinet. Sure, I'm sure. Oh, look at these. He's got a glass of something. I don't know. It's some red substance. What could it be? I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> I think it could either be wine or the something master a bit thicker. You also seek Van Helsing? Sure. No, I still oh. have not recovered enough. A confrontation with the doctor would be fatal to me. Let us find what we have come for and leave. Sure thing. Okay, so we need to find what we're looking for and then get out of here before Van Helsing finds us poking around in his office here. He's got quite the eclectic variety of stuffs in here. I mean, what's all this? Crossbows and arrows and eagle and what the heck? This is the crossbow I used to remove. I, I'll use to remove the cross crucifix, okay? Fair enough. So, we need arrows. Okay, we'll put a rope there. Put that into the, into the crossbow. Shoot it at the crucifix. <laughs> oh my god, that was the best ever. Look at this thing. Dracula is like... <laughs> super talented. Even the garlic fell away. That was awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what we have hidden over here. All sorts of goodies. So we had lots of puzzles this episode, and we finally get a hidden object seen. Ooh, look at that. So I obviously I'm just going to start clicking here and going with my traditional methodologies here. Because that's just the way I like to play, even though you're seeing all those crazy axes, that's okay. Some games show that, and others don't. Hehe. <laughs> Look at Igor over there shifting it around like he's nervous. Of course my logo will be somewhere around that corner, but hey. Maybe Igor. Eeyore? <laughs> Why would I say Eeyore? I don't know. For some reason Eeyore is on my mind, not Igor. Maybe he's inspecting my logo down at the bottom there. All right, we have a feather and an arrow. Where art thou? Oh, feathers, why do I despise you so? And of course, arrows can mean one of two things, sort of the way bows can mean one of two things. Well, okay, let's just scan here. What do we have? Uh, not seeing it. But that shouldn't surprise anyone. Okay, that apparently was an arrow. Now it's the darn feather. Arrgh. 
It's probably obvious for all of you, and you I'm sure at least half of you have found the feather already. I just, for some reason, I, I go limp. <laughs> or I go weak around feathers. I don't know why. Where the heck's this feather? Oh, you... That's the feather? That? Really? Oh, look, we needed that. Okay. Oh, it actually auto-prompts me to come back here. That is so clever. Alright, let's open up this portal here. What the heck are we doing here? Move the boxes to the opposite corners. Beware of touching the walls. Oh, that's kind of neat. Huh. Uh, of course I fail right away. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Ah. Get out of my way. Careful, careful. Ooh, look at that. Like a doctor. Surgeon... No, surgical skills, something like that. Hands of a surgeon, you know what I mean. As I shiver with caffeine. <laughs> I actually don't have a coffee with me right now, which is sad. I should really stop recording and go get myself a coffee. Well, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but we need to get through this puzzle first. Oh, so close game. I like how the boxes are all different colors too. You got this, kids. You got this. Yay! Bravo! You win! Alright, folks. This is uh, where we take a break, and we'll see you in the next episode of Dracula Love Kills. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.